One of the devices that you're introduced to in chapter 11 is a refrigerator, you know, which is basically a device for, for moving energy against the thermal gradient. It takes energy from someplace that's cold and puts it someplace where it's hot. And work is required to make that happen, okay? Now, chapter 11 is fundamentally about efficiency, but for refrigerators, we define it as a coefficient of performance, but basically this is the same as an efficiency. This is like an efficiency. And the coefficient of performance is basically, as for an efficiency, what you get divided by what you had to pay. Well, for a refrigerator, what you get is heat that you've pulled out of the cold reservoir. And the cold reservoir is basically the inside of the fridge. What you have to pay is W. Okay, W is the useful work that comes in. That's the electric energy that you get out of the outlet. So what you get divided by what you had to pay. Now for a refrigerator, this number is typically bigger than one. And in this case, it's actually four for this refrigerator, okay? So here is how we're gonna understand the problem. It's a coefficient of performance with a refrigerator problem. And it just deals with energy. Now, for a prepare step, here's what we're going to do. Okay, we've defined the coefficient of performance. That's QC over W. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it this way. QC over W is equal to 4.0. So that tells me that W is equal to QC over 4.0, or I can also write it this way, that QC is equal to W times 4.0. Basically, if I do a certain amount of work, I can pump four times as much heat. So the amount of energy that I pump out of the cold reservoir is the amount of work that's done, which is 50 joules. There's 50 joules of work done times 4.0. The amount of energy I pump out of the cold reservoir is 200 joules. That's my QC. Now to solve, and actually, just in our prepare step, we've already answered part A. But let's go ahead and, and do a solution and think about the energy that's exhausted to the hot reservoir. And to do that, I'm going to take a look at this. Here's my refrigerator. Okay, my refrigerator is a system. Energy comes in, energy goes out. And refrigerators and heat pumps are always about, and also heat engines, you have a system, the energy inside the system doesn't change. I have heat that comes in, I have work that comes in, I have heat that goes out, I have work that goes out, but the energy of the system doesn't change. Into this system comes 200 joules from the cold reservoir. Also into this system comes 50 joules of work. The question is, how much energy goes out into the hot reservoir? But just sketching it out this way, we can see there's 200 joules comes into the, from the cold reservoir, 50 joules comes in as work. And so clearly, we have to exhaust 250 joules into the hot reservoir. That must be true. So the net result is this. For A, the energy pulled out of the cold reservoir, 200 joules. For B, the energy exhausted into the hot reservoir, 250 joules. Now we'll assess and see if this makes sense. And the answer is it does. The coefficient of performance is four. So we expect to get more than we had to pay, and in fact, four times as much. And the result that we have is consistent with the ideas of conservation of energy. And in fact, refrigerators really work like this. Their efficiency is bigger than one. The amount of energy that you have to put in is less than the amount that you get to pump, which is kind of cool. So this does indeed match with our expectations of how the world works.